Women Matters, a few days before Christmas 2023. And again, we have four countries here. We are a quartet from America, from South Africa, from Germany, and me in Italy. And as always, check in. I would like Gertraud, you, the pre precedenza in Italian, the, the go on first. <laughs> Okay, so Germany <laughs> is here. Um, and um, yeah, I'm I had a long list what I wanted to do before Christmas, uh, because then the whole family is invading and or <laughs> and yeah, so we will have two one and a half weeks or so or two weeks almost to just be family. And um, so my list was pretty long and I would say like felt sense and 97% I did. And mm. so I'm really proud and inspired and yeah. So one baby came shortly just overnight with her parents, uh, but she went to the other grandma and uh, yeah, and then we reunite in different locations and then everybody comes together, my eldest, then we will be 10 and a half people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, another one coming in May. Ah. Oh, yeah, oh, wow. so, Congratulations. so I'm, I'm pretty happy to, yeah. So I, I feel like, you know, when you don't have anything on your mind anymore that you need to do before you can celebrate. So I'm all set and I will go through the finish line, I tell you. <laughs> good, good. And, and complete. Glad. Thank you. I'm glad that there is Monia. She is still figuring out something. So I give over to her, Nelly. And another country is coming in. Yeah, Austria. Oh, yes, yeah, Austria, yes. South Africa, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I went for a lovely walk at the beach this morning, but I went too late. So I was there in midday. It was so hot. So I think I've got a little bit of sunstroke. So today I don't have Not much here. energy. Oh, you can't? I wonder why you can't hear me. Mm -hmm. No, I, I said think... not here. Here's oh, no, oh, oh, no oh, 30 oh, degrees or so. <laughs> Yeah, no, so it's much more than that here at the moment, but it's lovely. After the after we had such a wet winter, this is quite yeah, to see the sun every day is really really big blessing. And then the ocean, of course, yeah. always a blessing. And um yeah, I can feel everybody slowing down for you know, for the festive season and um making plans to do all sorts of things. Yeah. And for me it's it's just like I'm like in the in between space at the moment, so for me that is um, yeah, just going with the flow with all of it and enjoying the vibe and the mood and seeing all the tourists and feeling it's it Cape Town is very busy this time of the year, so it's always very interesting when everybody pours down to the side of the country to come and enjoy the ocean. So I've just given myself permission to also enjoy that, and I'll pass to Christine. Yeah. Um, I wish I had some of that freedom that I had done everything and checked them off <laughs> and that it was uh, kind of making clearer how um, long my list is of things that I want to do um, before my family because they're coming um, actually a couple of days after Christmas. It's complicated reasons why, but anyway, I'm not accustomed to having all of a sudden I live on my own, all of a sudden four people coming in. So my brothers and two of the three triplets, they've got those kids are coming too. And as a matter of finding a space for all of them, I'm not accustomed to it. They have, Some are vegan, some are not vegan and just sort of planning recipes and who can be where and which room, who needs privacy. And so I'm just, um, 
full of details, trying to make it as comfortable so that once they're here, then I'm free to just be with them. But um, I've got many lists. I mean, some of them are here on a little index card. Other ones are on my computer. Others are on pieces of paper. It is so non-German. It's ridiculous. <laughs> So I'm very, I'm just, I didn't learn anything those many years of living there, evidently. Um, so I'm trying to um, get some discipline, that's all. <laughs> and I like pass on to Monia. Hello. Hello. Good to see you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you and I'm very happy about that because I'm never quite sure about my tech, all the technical problems. Anyway, um, yeah, it's it's every day something changes abruptly, and today we just learned that the youngest grandchild has corona, so she is in bed, and the father has also been sick for a couple of days, but I guess he hasn't tested himself, and they had a large meeting yesterday with friends from Peru whose father was also sick already. So in Austria, uh, people are just, uh, I don't know, 25% every week more with some kind of uh, bronchitis or corona. And many of our friends who still travel around and by bus uh, and go to Florence or whenever, wherever, they are also sick. They have been sick now for three weeks with, and it doesn't get better. So it really, it's not very Christmassy. I have all my packages and my presents wrapped. And uh, so uh, actually I should just be able to sit back and relax. But as my husband noticed just a couple of half an hour ago, uh, when we have these kind of news, it's uh, we don't even know how to plan Christmas at all. Uh, and well, we have our little tree outside on the balcony again with roots, and uh, that's nice. So it's we really have a Christmassy feeling. Everything is decorated already, and. Um, Actually, it's more like we are celebrating the season this year, not just one day Christmas season. And yeah, I, I went to the uh, doctor again today to have a checkup on my hip and everything is fine. And I got some ointments for the scar and, and for that. So I'm going, I'm just pampering myself all day. And yeah, I sort of gave up on expecting anything or controlling anything. It's just letting things go as they are. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, get <laughs> trapped. It's just this, that's also one of my exercises I have to do for my shoulders, like going back there and going up and Actually, I could all day, when the minute I wake up in the morning, I start my exercises, but I'm fine walking around now. And that makes me rather happy. And uh, we came to our, to my doctor uh, to give him some champagne for thanking. He was sick as well. <laughs> <laughs> and and somebody, uh, somebody there to just a young man who was very nice, but all the old ladies who came there brought bottles. So, so I, we took ours home again, and I don't, <laughs> I, I think of something else because it was he must really have a, a liquor store at Christmas because everybody <laughs> brought him a bottle. So it's not very, yeah. Anyway, I guess I'm fine. And I missed you all, but it's just, uh, I still get a tire very easily. And I'm glad this meeting is at 6 p.m. and not at 8, because it's now black darkness outside. I have a, I have to show you, I have a, uh, 
Mm. A comet. Star of window, Bethlehem. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the star of Bethlehem. And, uh, but uh, people have decorated as much. We decorated as we always do. Every uh, the, the balcony, there are stars hanging down and, and little lights. So it's quite cozy. But people have decorated less this year. I don't know why. Yeah, that's about where and how I am. Uh, Heidi, how are you? I did. I missed your, or haven't you presented your state of oh, being? I haven't said uh, so much. Only before we we chatted a little bit. Okay. About <laughs> Thank Germans. you for reminding me. I just yeah. <laughs> Germans and discipline, and so we thought we might uh, talk about it because I was saying that I have some discipline. But uh, first, I wanted to say last time we we talked about letting go. And you are now saying letting go, you know, and I will get her to. I mm. also had a week for uh, where I had to let go because I noticed on Sunday that my cat um, with um, Jimmy Schiefmaul, who whom I found three or four days after Mark died, and he was big like like a hand, and he had a crushed mouth, and the uh, and the um, tail was um, squeezed. So I had it operated and everything, and he couldn't eat then. And now mm -hmm. on Sunday, I noticed that he couldn't eat, and so I went to the to the vet, and she he noticed that he had a big pump here, so he couldn't he couldn't move mm -hmm. the tongue. And she took uh, something out to see if it is cancer, and gave uh, antibiotics. And the next day, I should give him antibiotics with the injections. Nobody to hold the cat, and so the cat was uh, really uh, in in panic. And I took him uh, to a friend, and she helped me. And there were people around, so he was quite confused and quite uh, in panic, I guess. And I had him at home. And the next time I came in in my house, he passed the door under my feet and went away. And since then, he is away. <laughs> so. I'm quite sure that he is gone to die. It's no cancer. He could have been healed, but I think he has decided to not to. And I found it somehow strange because he came to me with not being able to eat and he goes with not being able to eat. And mm -hmm. so uh, I don't know what that means. And also in connection with Mark, it's five and a half years uh, ago. So. I could invent all sorts of stories, but anyway, it's letting go. I really, every day looking, is he coming? Is he coming? And so yeah. it's it's an exercise, you know? And it, I mean, it, I have no children. I don't know how that is, but I imagine that with children is even worse when you are preoccupied. <laughs> but even with, with animals, it's really not... And with animals, you don't have the same control, at least not with cats. With doggies, maybe, yes. But with uh, cats, not so much. Anyway, I was quite sad and did some ritual. Now it's where he normally eats. I put the candle. And mm -hmm. uh, so that's my exercise in letting go. But before we were talking about discipline and about all, you know, we are getting older and things don't work and my knees didn't work years ago. And since then, at least five years, if not longer, every day I do half hour to do to do to do to do to do to on the on the treadmill and very low, no pressure at all, but moving. And I'm using weights for for getting more stronger. And today I was again uh, at about three hours outside cutting the olive trees, getting together the branches. And, you know, I have this um, chainsaw and ah, doing mm -hmm. it up there. And after an hour and a half, you do this, you feel it. But when, when it's trained, when the body is trained, it's not as bad as when I try to force it in the past years. And then it was really bad, you know, the body gets blocked. And so the question is, we, how is our health today? And how can it be when we have enough discipline to do something? <laughs> 
not only for that. You you said the discipline for making order or something, uh, uh, Christine. No, the the. So my suggestion would be to talk about discipline. When when is it good and when it is contraproductive? Because I think we as Germans have also some problem with too much discipline. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That would be my suggestion. That would, that would be a nice problem for me to have. Too much discipline. I would. Ah, okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Just checking. Do we want to complete the year or just uh, start it next year in a good way? Just uh, I'm, I'm looking for... Ah, because in two weeks is already next year, no? Yeah, and it's uh, Monday the first. Yeah, so mm -hmm. so we have to think about this. Ah, oh, we can do half and half. We can um, or put it together. <laughs> How far do, did we have discipline this year? Did it help us? And what do you want to do next year? And what I heard from you, Gertrude, that you are very much in discipline with these weight things with us. Course. Yeah, recently I had um so when I had my my gut redoing or I'm still in it, um I I was too weak to even lift the the <laughs> the where I I came to. So I'm I'm really like taking off the the parts so so the the weights are lower and to come yeah little by little back so so I think my discipline was great for 10 11 months <laughs> and and then I just wanted to lift them it was not possible so I gave myself like two weeks of rest and um and now I'm I'm yeah, I took off weights, so uh, I don't know if I'm just say, okay, I do Christmas and then start again in January, uh, because at the moment it's it's not so easy because, um, yeah, I felt like weak, uh, just resetting my whole intestine. But so. you are talking about weights which are really high. I'm talking about one kilo or so two kilos. You know? Yeah, to, to do a little bit is, is fine. And I'm going out almost every day for at least 30 minutes. That's still on my, I say, five, five times a week. So I'm doing that and even more. Um, so I kept doing this. So everything that was light later and and have a lighter band and yeah so th do things like that but i didn't do the real like you know go to the edge training which i have been doing for 11 and with everything together i lost 14 kilos oh, wow. within a year so on purpose i mean not not because of an illness or so. Um, yeah, so I think when I get off track, it's hard to come back. But doing that just, okay, twice a week, five times a week. And, and yeah, so if there is a routine that I follow, like brushing teeth, then it's, at the beginning to have enthusiasm to to start the whole thing and then to have a routine that I do it even if I don't feel like it. Because I think my body knows what's good, but my brain doesn't always. Yeah. This uh, is a good uh, example because you could also have the tendency to put the discipline overall and do it despite your body says, oh no, don't do it, no? And that's how the injuries happen. 
can be done. Yeah, with. yeah. I and and I think the training was really good to to say what gives injuries and what we should not do and yeah how to how to keep ourselves safe and our clients and so yeah so that was really good yep and i have to create a new discipline because i did a new training not not a physical one but it's called instant change and it's it's really to yeah to make energetically a lot uh yeah immediate could you put it in the chat i didn't quite understand what it's called instant change instant. at the moment yeah instant okay at the moment it's uh only in german it's a german guy who who, who created that and uh i yeah i got his training and i'm certified to do that and now i really have to yeah find a a way of of doing it to myself and um, yeah. And what's it called in German? Instant change. He, he <laughs> yeah. okay. It's not German, but it's uh, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So he wants to go internationally, but um, it's yeah, it's just uh, he's doing it now for eight years and. Uh, has a decent, yeah, so there are many. I'm wondering, because this triggers something, what is it that you all would like to change instantly right now? That's a nice question. Yeah. I know what I want to change. Okay. From from do, using the chainsaw, I have little pieces of wood in my eye. I would like mm. to sit out. Also, I have glasses, but sometimes it goes into mm -hmm. so. Anneli? Yeah, for me, it's um, yeah, it's finding my own sacred space again. So that will definitely instant change, which I've been which I've been intending working towards. I just came upon something this week and it's it's a I think it's a Tibetan or a Chinese um I don't know what you call it actually. It's just three words. It says easy is right. Mm -hmm. And that when something is easy we are in flow. And so when I hear the word discipline I have, I suppose I have lots of disciplines, discipline, because I've, especially in terms of moving my body, exercise, dancing, going for walks, swimming, I've got those type of routines to, but I check in with my body. So recently I somehow hurt my knee. So now I'm a lot more, because I was skipping, skipping rope, and now I'm a lot more sensitive to, to do things. So I still do things, but just not so much impact, such high impact things. So I'm a lot more in tune with my body to listen to my body. What does my body need at a certain stage? And I, I found for myself when I'm tired, I must actually move around a bit. Not too much, but just move to get the energy flowing. But the easy is right thing was really something that resonated. Um, that it doesn't need to be this hard thing that, that discipline seems hard, just a word by itself. Maybe it's just my conditioning about it. Um, and I think one of you shared about controlling. I can't remember who was it. Um, for me, discipline comes close to controlling a situation. And like I said, again, it might just be my own upbringing and my circumstances. So for me, it's rather to be in the flow and to do these things right because it becomes a lifestyle. It becomes part of who I am. Um, in terms of instant change as well, I think we're constantly transforming and changing. So it's not, yeah, so it's quite interesting concept to even sense into that instant change. I'd love to hear more about that, Gertrude, um, about what that really is about. Yes, so we yes. can probably Google it. We, can yeah, we and, Google and the it? Other thing, yeah, the other thing I wanted to just share is that 
when you said the word discipline hiding in the beginning before the other all of us were together my association with it is that it's doing a lots of doing and for me discipline can be about being as well about taking care of being part a balance between the doing and the being and that's still discipline because you still need to focus on some to allow something to come back into balance if it's out of balance or too much of the one and not enough of the other one um, so that just came up that we for me sometimes in the world out there discipline is linked to doing we must go and do stuff do 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 and then to have the balance of yeah of the easy part the ease into things i don't know if that makes sense i'm complete yeah, and the thing with discipline that has uh, gotten this nasty connotation, but it comes from this discipulo, discipulo, from from st student, from 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 learning. It comes, you know, and it's not not something which we think you have to b -b 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 to do something. No, whatever learning. Keep uh, on learning. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> to so, do it the easiest way. Exactly. <laughs> Justine, you wanted to say something? No, I, I, I was just, I didn't mean, I didn't mean to interrupt. I just thought, what, can we Google about it? <laughs> no, uh, yeah, you can. Uh, it's instant minor uh, dash change.com but it's in German so you can do that well you can translate with Google Translate yeah I think I think that's possible okay okay yeah okay. and I I got the English um so they translated already uh, several but he's not out there in the open in English yet but I uh, get access to the English version of of the landing page and so so I, I asked for that. I yeah. have a question. In what way has discipline helped you to be there where you are now? Hmm. Um, and and I wanted to, uh, to answer the question, uh, Munya's question. For me, it's, um, and, and I have to find a way to, to work with myself first and, and get a, like a, and not overload it, but like do little things. And at the moment I have some, yeah, health, um, uh, skin issues with my, so it's, it's just breaking open when it's too dry then, uh, or um, my gut and yeah, to, to have my health issues, like you could put several things in it, but for me, I feel my body needs so one at a time thing. And, and so to have that and say, okay, today it's the eyes, <laughs> tomorrow it's the skin and yeah, something like that. So it's, it's uh, like to regain my, comp my health as youthful as possible. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's the instant thing. Yeah. And the flow of money could be really a little bit more less drippy. <laughs> yeah. Less so it's drippy. fine. I'm not I'm not starving, but uh, like to to have a constant. That's my my part. So to answer your question first and then we can go to yours yeah mine is exactly for you because you are always doing trainings one training the next training the other training you need to have discipline because otherwise you wouldn't do all this <laughs> actually it's more like when i um something comes across I don't know, somebody tells me or something I get from I'm in an email list or whatever. Um, so there are different sources where something comes from. And it's kind of resonating with where I am already. And I, I just take Ken Wilbur for that. When 
I came across that they started um, this online thing. So he has written so many books and I never like got into just reading them and and uh, maybe if I was in, in a circle like you led uh, Munya, then maybe I would have, but uh, I didn't have the discipline to. So I thought it was interesting, but yeah. And once I got that and I was in this um, first where he said something. So the, the first evening, uh, not registered yet. Taster or whatever that was. And I even didn't like his voice, but there was something that I knew I had to do it. It's 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 kind of this has nothing to do with discipline. It's it's rather the opposite because it's so like pulling that you have to do it, even though you promised yourself not to uh, waste money on anything that, you know, things like that. So it it's almost the opposite. And, and then where the, the discipline kicks in is after I do it for a few weeks. So to keep on doing it um, and not just go with my actual mood in this situation but more like I really want to learn it and I really want to keep on doing it uh, but this is I'm actually not so good in discipline I'm more good in having routines or coming to a routine and then yeah do that like toothbrushing. Yeah. I'm not the disciplined person. I actually not. <laughs> German doesn't matter. Yeah. For me, this is discipline to maintain the, the routine. And uh, because I often have a handle, uh, how do you say, discusses with uh, Oh, come on, today you don't need to do it. But da, 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 da. And, and then I discipline says, no, you do it. So <laughs> Yeah, but learning, I think this is like I will do that with 90 still. It <laughs> It's so core to who I am that I want to. So if I come to a wall, I want to know what's behind it and not go back. Oh, there's a wall. So that doesn't need any discipline. That is more arrows that's driving me. The discipline is needed to find the, the tool to go to look behind the wall. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. But it's Eros that drives me there. Right. I think. It's always Eros. Blame it on Eros. <laughs> <laughs> we blame it on Eros. <laughs> yeah. So I yield back. I have talked enough at the moment. Christine, what would you change instantly? Love the question. Surprisingly, usually I would go like this, you know, but something in me is saying, slow it down, slow it down. Don't, don't go with the stuff that's obviously on the tree. What's the deeper thing that I would change instantly? I think probably would be yeah, this would be because it would affect the way I'm handling my family coming, I'm wanting everything to be perfect. So I think that's what I would change in me, the need to think I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely doing my best. All the new recipes I'm going to try out, they're going to be perfect. 
And even though it's going to be raining, there are going to be fun things that we can have. I live in the middle of the woods. And so what people come to do here is to be hiking. And so that's probably not going to be happening. So I'm thinking, okay, you know, okay, we can play poker. I mean, I'd love to play poker with pennies. You know, it can be hysterical. But that's where my brain is going, right? And I think, what if what if I was just sufficient, just the way I am, and go with the flow? I guess that would be a lot, that would answer the question, maybe, not needing to be the perfect hostess, because they haven't been here in many, many years. And, um, wow. <laughs> Just let it go and have it not be in any form in my head of what it needs to be and just to be able to show up with love in the moment and be present with it probably is um, the sweetness. Um, I don't want to be exhausted when they finally walk in the door. <laughs> <laughs> that would be um, be stupid. <laughs> So yeah, that's a great question. If what I could change in the moment, it would not caring what other people think. Monia, what would you change immediately? Me? Mm -hmm. You, you. <laughs> um, well, I don't have any influence on that, but I'm really annoyed that the books I like to read the series that the authors, all of them, postponed it to February 24 or even later. So my favorite book series, uh, I'm sort of stranded. And I would, mm. but if I could change it, that the next book will arrive, or will be post, or will be published tomorrow. But that would won't happen. I know that. So. Uh, What's your favorite book series? I'm uh, really I like, curious. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, Aronovich, The Rivers of London. Hmm. If you don't know it, start it. It's just delightful. <laughs> it's real, it's escapism, but it's uh, um, the, the many ways reality can be. And if you know magic, then... Uh, how you can use it. And of course, you learn a lot about London. So I always look it up. So I now know the modern architecture in London. And I know a lot about the rivers there because each river has an, a god or a goddess of its own. And they are very human. And um, it's fun to read. It's really it's fun to read, Aronovich. And the other one I also liked was Mark Haydn like our Haydn, but not with a with an, an additional E, Haydn, uh, about, um, also about London, it's, it's in London, and the King's Watch, it's called, and they have to keep the peace between the various magic communities. Mm. And it's, it's, <laughs> uh, it's about the bureaucracy of magic, and it's sort of, it's fun, it's fun to read. Those were the two series because Terry Pratchett unfortunately has died, which I never forgive him because yeah. <laughs> it's really a shame. Or I, I don't forgive fate that somebody so bright and such a genius in creating universes or planets at least has to lose his mind. So that's just not fair. It's not fair. But of course, what is fair? And what was the second? Um, the first one was Rivers of London, and the second? Uh, the, the King's Watch. The King's Mark, Watch. Mark, I put it in the chat, okay? Yeah. Mark Hayden. Where is my chat? Uh, da, 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 there is the chat. Uh, then I need my glasses. Oh, yes. Uh, what I would change instantly that I don't need glasses anymore, that my eyesight is back again. <laughs> But of course, I can't do that either. Thank you. <laughs> I'm talking about glasses. 
<laughs> so we are near the holidays, and so you give recommendations for reading. What mm -hmm. else do you plan to do for the end of the year? Two weeks, we still have more or less, little, little less. Well, we are not planning much because my husband doesn't leave the house, the house anymore. At only for driving to the supermarket. That's what he still does. But uh, so we just have, I make an elaborate meal. I have already lots of delicious uh, meals by Bofrost. Maybe you know that it's deep frozen. So you just, it's easy to make. And yeah, that's what, um, and well, depending on who is still sick and who is still healthy again, we'll meet our, our children and our grandchildren. But uh, we really, we haven't had Corona yet and I don't want to risk it, it's a shame. Yeah. So let me just finish my reading suggestions. Hanneli, you have an untypical Christmas. The card I sent around is all with snow and everything. And you have the total opposite there. <laughs> yeah, so ours, I'm going to be outdoors a lot. I am actually every day a lot outdoors. And um, I'm going to write. So I'm going to finish one novel in mm. the coming days. And um, that's very fun. It's also it's a futuristic novel. And it's also fun. It's very playful. And I, I just, I'd love to, the, these characters take on their own lives. So I'm just, <laughs> I'm just giving them a space to come into being in the book. So I'll, I'll, that's what I'll be doing. So next year we can have your book for Christmas as recommendation. When it's <laughs> sure. <laughs> Which hmm. book for this year? Yeah, this is uh, this is volume two of a trilogy that I'm writing, futuristic trilogy. And this one's called, um, it starts, the first chapter is the first step, but it all happens in different universes as well. Um, you really have to be present when you read it to which universe are these characters in now. So it's really playful, but it's also it's a lot of enchantment and magic mm -hmm. and... Uh -huh, uh -huh. But also you sharing, sharing, sharing wisdom, sharing with wisdom in a playful way through the. Can you put narrative. it in the chat? Can you put the title in the chat? Yeah, I'll put it. For, I'll, I'll send you. I haven't. I haven't decided on the second volume's title yet. Yeah, the and the first, first one. The first one. The first one is. is good out. Things come. Good things come in three years. I already published that in two thousand fifteen. I'll oh, send you a link. Okay. I'll send yeah, you a link. That, that would be nice. Yeah. Yeah. So the second volume, um, in the first volume, they discover their biggest weakness is their biggest gifts. But they also place up in these different universes. And then the second one, they co create an entire universe together. But that's the story that I'm finishing now. And in the third volume, they are discovering um, abilities that they didn't have before as, as a species. And then they, and they just, and then with that, we don't know where that's going to go to. <laughs> Unfolding. I have another book for, if you want to. This is Claudia Kroos, Words Create Worlds. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I told you already about her. Uh, she created the, the green speed, uh, speak green. Yeah, Speak Green is is her. It's it's also a website. Um, so it's like uh, a lot of business words come out of the military, and how can we use other words? And um, so these are the the old words are red, and the new words are green. So it's not the green memes. So it's more like to have these opposites, yeah. Could you clarify? You, you ladies, sorry, you ladies will let them, not writing, you'll see me reading in the next two weeks <laughs> with all these beautiful books. <laughs> I'll have to make time for both. You see discipline, I'll make time for both. Thank yeah. you, so I'm going. Sorry, Christine. 
Okay, words create, was that the? Words create worlds. Worlds. And what is it about the card game wizard? You wrote? Yeah, they, they was when, when Christine was talking, said uh, maybe poker or something. Oh. Wizard is a card game. Huh? And uh, so there, there's some, a little bit like, you know, like the other decks uh, with um, magicians and princes and knights and so. And uh, <laughs> this is, you have to predict uh, so you look at your cards and you have to predict the outcome. And if you're if you hit it, then you get a lot of uh, points. And if you don't, you you yeah, it reduces. So it's not how good the cards are; it's how well can you predict what you can do with those cards. Mm -hmm. And uh, my daughter, when when one of my daughters comes you always have to pay <laughs> so for each and every time she's here we have to play that is, and it, in English, that? Hmm? is it in english or just in german uh i i don't have a clue i really don't know i think it's it's a german um factory that does it but um i don't know maybe you find it somewhere in English. Well, Amazon would be my only choice because that's mm -hmm. if any place oh, my, this, it'll be on Amazon. My husband and I are playing a card game every day, two uh, goes. It's called Master Level Eight. So master, master, master level eight master, the master level eight. And mm -hmm. it's just it's just uh, you don't have to write anything down. And uh, it changes every time. So you have uh, eight different kind of levels you have to pass. And if you pass the eighth one, then you win. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we have been playing it now. We already have the second deck of cards because the first one was just too sticky. And um, now probably I'll have to get a third one mm -hmm. soon. But it's kind of, well, we do it just to keep our brains a little more flexible and and he uh, it's uh, about two thirds luck just pure luck what cards you pick and he is so lucky he always and so he has the lucky seat he gets all the chokers every time <laughs> I have maybe one, and he has five jokers. Yeah, yeah. Even if I sit on this seat, we change seats now. It doesn't help. So he really, it's it's fun. It's just it's not not something like you really have to uh, put your own. That you say, oh, you're just dumb or you don't calculate. Yeah, yeah. No, it's just it's mere luck, and luck is a lady, and obviously she parts with. She rather is partial for men. <laughs> <laughs> So if I wanted to, I wanted to purchase it, what would I what would I, I put in? Amazon, Amazon got it. I write it in the in the chat. Yeah, but let me hear it because like sometimes I can't read the stuff that level chat. level eight master edition. Okay, is there a level one? Mm -hmm. No. But I guess there is one with level nine or something, but then you have to write down all the points at all uh, what you, and we, didn't, we don't want to write, we just want to, it's easy to see when you have one. So here it is, level eight master. Amazon has it. Okay. Got it. Well, you can play four, people, four people can play it at once. Mm. So then it gets more interesting because everybody has a different kind of what card he drops and if you can use it. And so it's fun. It's fun. Okay. Yes. Is, it, is it primarily creative or do you actually have to have a knowledge base of any subject at all? Or is it all just No, it's just, it's just numbers. It's just numbers. You have very uh, seven uh, several numbers of several colors, and you have uh, one uh, task is that you use 
uh, seven or five five cards of the same color and three of the same number, or you have to have eight cards uh, from one to eight or from five to uh, thirteen, and so it's it's uh, yeah a harmless. Ch it's not expensive, so it's really. It's um, oh. I've I found an English version. Wait here, maybe you can have a look. Heidi and you, what are you going to do? Um, I probably, if the weather is good, I go with my olive trees. I have to cut a lot. They this year they had little olives, but a lot of of branches, because it was also. <clears throat> trimmed badly the last few years and uh, I notice the days when I cannot go out I feel like not good you know it's like mm -hmm. and as soon as I can go out and do something uh, in the in the fresh air then then it's fine the whole day feels different so uh, mm. I hope I can do this I will uh, have some lunch with a friend and uh, so on. Maybe somebody comes coming by. I don't know yet how that goes. But for me, Christmas, except when I was the choir master, then I had to go to the church and, and sing with the choir. But all these holidays, they are traditional. I know, I notice, but I'm not really doing a lot. What I did this year, yesterday, also uh, the week before, was to invite people for a German Advent uh, tea with mm. Schulen and uh, Nürnberger Lebkuchen and, and, and things like that. Yesterday they were all... Vanille Kipferl. <laughs> didn't find that on Lidl's here, but that was... was and Glühwein, mm. uh, Wienbrüle. Mm. So yesterday they were all all nation many nationalities we spoke in English, while the last week I had uh, German people here. They have uh, their new German people also nearby here. So I just I, I feel that I'm a connector. I want to connect these people. There was a new couple, an English couple. By chance I got to know them. I said, Oh, I want to invite you to get to know these and ta 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 ta. And that's what I did yesterday. And it was nice. The only thing, it's in the big room over there, and I have to start to heat in the eight, eight, eight in the morning and go every half hour, put a new piece of wood <laughs> in the fire. And then it was <clears throat> nice and warm at 3.30. So oh. these are the things I might, uh, I, I did, and uh, which might be spontaneously that somebody comes around and we do something of this sort, but... Not so. Uh, will we meet on January first or the next? Or January, what is it? Eight. Yeah, we can do that. We are still recording, so I think we should do that afterwards and okay. talk about it and <clears throat> do a sort of a little check out. I with... really admire that you are a connector. It's a mm -hmm. beautiful. It's a beautiful thing to know about your essence, because it's all about the energy. Mm -hmm. that you track that and I, I really bow to your wisdom your your essence is um, that's what you do with us you bring us together yeah that's a and rare quality I don't know many people who gift gift themselves that way mm -hmm. and I'm happy that now I have people here around which I can connect personally because for many many years that was not possible because the the normal people that say living here, I didn't really connect with. Well. And now there are so many um, foreign people uh, coming to live here in, in the area. And this is uh, a richness. Uh, I really like this. Too. I'm curious, these people are buying homes or in the general yeah. area or they're renting? Uh, or how how yeah, are they? The, the neighbors, which I got to know in June, they have bought a very nice villa. Really, I can see it from here, and um, others in the, in the other side of Otricoli, a German couple has bought a, a, a nice estate, and they say in Germany you could never buy this; uh, it's too expensive. But here in Italy, you still can have a nice house with a lot of land around, and mm, that's that's really good. 
and the other one they have bought a house in the outskirt of the of the village and uh, the other one in the near nearby village and you know these are also historical villages some people like to be in these old places yeah. and uh, and i'm really glad about that because for a long time personal meeting was difficult to find people to i mean i had some friends but not mm. you know? so i'm grateful and with this gratefulness i go into the next year <laughs> That was my checkout. Now it's your turn. Yeah, I can resonate with that. I'm also grateful that after a year of quite considerable pain and inability to move around, I now am able again to move around. And yeah, it would be nice if my husband improves as well. He does exercises and he has been uh, prescribed anabolica, so maybe to build his muscles again, I don't know, but we'll see. And yeah, and I hope that the family as such uh, doesn't, yeah, doesn't really, because my daughter, she just does so much, and even when she gets sick, she still is on the go and maybe she can reduce because she's over 50 now as well and you don't have that much energy anymore. But she'll learn. Anyway, her profession is with small children from primary school and she has, the children are just adorable this year. She has a new class starting six years old and they are so eager and so concentrated. So this is really a uh, makes me hopeful for the future if children like this get a teacher like that and, <laughs> and that they, match will yeah and they love her and she loves them and so it's really I get lots of photographs and they're all very very cute yeah that's my checkout and I'm looking forward to next year meeting all of you and I thank Heidi for reminding me because um, my discipline is lacking. <laughs> but um, uh, I still do lots of other things and it just keeps my mind off Zoom. But Zoom is still an important part for me. So thank you all. And I pass on to whoever feels ready to go. I'm grateful for all of you ladies and also for this year. Um... It's, I just recently have been reminded again, there's so much happening in our world, but there's so much beauty. And I'm really grateful for all the beauty in life. And you ladies are like, um, I always feel held by you. So it was a tough year for me, but I've, I felt held all the time coming together with you every second week. And I'm also looking forward to next year. And um, to really integrate all the shifts I had this year. Thank you, I'm complete. Yes, I would have a natural follow from that because I know you, most of you are so regular with our Mondays. And I haven't been able to do that because of different health issues and having appointments with medical individuals <laughs> of various sorts. And so I just, they just things appointments there were and, I, and now I'm just really going to it just feels so good to be with you all and I've missed I've missed this inner sense of um, the meaning that we've created you know and it settles inside of me and um, I'm so grateful for it and um, and um, yeah I'm just going to make sure that they can't put on that. <laughs> I'm going to be like a guard dog on it as opposed to going whenever they offer it. So that's my gratitude, taking better care of myself by being able to be here. So thank you for welcoming me back. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Yeah. 
I will be traveling a lot, like from my daughter is here, and then we travel to Fordsheim, where where the daddy's mother lives, and she invited us for Christmas, and then we're traveling together to my big uh, eldest daughter, and the middle daughter is coming from the uh, from the sixtieth anniversary of her. Um, her boyfriend's uh, grandparents on uh, wedding day. So, and then we come all together in Austria to meet there and uh, and have a wonderful, and my former sister-in-law is coming also. He's very, uh, we have been friends for many years, so she's coming in. Yeah, we will be 10 people plus some still wrapped up <laughs> yeah so it's it's uh i'm very much looking forward to that to to be with them and uh, to reconnect because we haven't seen each other for a while especially the austrians so this is for me and um finishing my list <laughs> and then starting the new year with Elan, what's Elan <laughs> with <laughs> strive with drive and yeah. And may that be a wonderful year full of integration, of transformation, of uh health, regaining health and self-care. And uh for me and whoever wants it, like sprinkling of money on top of it. <laughs> and happy, healthy relationships. Yeah. We are an example of good relationships. We kept over the time. And I thank you to be here and all the, the members who are not here today. And th thank everybody for what you bring in into the mix that's really important and enjoy this these days wherever you are I just ask a quick question as we close how many of us are going to be together on new year's day i will yeah, be let's us let us stop the recording and then we will discuss on this okay good so i will do that bye bye happy new year <laughs>